Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. So today we're going to see in AutoCAD plugin development, we're going to see how to actually create our um, um, a custom executable command um, and also how to send commands to AutoCAD. So, so far what we have seen is, let's say we take some, uh, we write some code in and then we'll see how to actually get some values and create some um, circles and some basic stuff we have seen. So in this one, how to send a command into AutoCAD. You know that AutoCAD has got hundreds of commands that for that we don't have to have to create code to to do the work which is already being done by some of the tools which is already there. So we can just call the tools to do the work. So that is what we're going to see. We're going to see two methods here. So one is a send a command to AutoCAD and remember sending a command to AutoCAD there are two different ways that you can do. So this is a synchronous way and there is also an asynchronous way. So the synchronous way is basically it obeys your uh, code logic. That means it goes step by step of executing the code and you have a complete control of uh, when to execute it, when to stop it and all that sort of stuff. And there is an asynchronous method which is um, send command and it is an interop. Uh, it comes as a com interop uh, under com interop. So that basically executes as an asynchronous. That means when that line of code is executed, um, it doesn't wait for anything. It just executes parallelly while this program is running. So that means the the, the complete command will execute uh, without even knowledge of what is happening in this code and you will not be able to track the other one as well. That could be good if you are actually um, um, asking AutoCAD to check number of objects and display on the screen and things like that which you're not going to interfere the results of that command. So in that case you can use the other one. So this one is actually a synchronous way that means you can actually go step by step and execute a command and then go for the next line execute the next command and things like that. All right. So now uh, let's check the first method here. So which is going to be send a command to AutoCAD. So in this one we get the active document and then uh, this is the ACAD document and then send string to execute and then we can actually give within the double quotes whatever we want to execute and remember AutoCAD uh, ends with a space uh, to execute the command. Let's say if you're doing a circle command you have to type in circle and then press enter and um, in this case you know if the space also works in the same way if you press space it, it, it executes the command. So that is why when you actually send anything to uh, execute you have to make sure that you include a space at the end so that way uh, once these strings are typed in in the editor it will actually uh, press the space bar. To show that let me copy this one and then go to my AutoCAD interface and then let me type it in and um, so as you can see like we are still within the command so now let's let me copy it uh, with the space okay now as you can see that the circle is created as you can see the circle is here and then uh, it actually completes the command so the space pretty much executes the command so I'm just gonna get rid of that so that's what we're going to do here. So let's run that. So the keyboard shortcut will send command to AutoCAD. To AutoCAD. And then it creates a circle. Simple as that. So and then it does a zoom all as well. So once the circle is created, that's why the circle goes into the corner. And zoom all generally zooms to the limit of the screen that you set. Now the second one is going to be send custom command to AutoCAD and in this one what I have done is I've combined what we have done before and um, and then added a couple of more stuff. So first thing is I'm going to get the user options to enter some key, key keywords. So the keywords going to be first one is going to be circle. Next is going to be zoom all. Then I'm going to prompt a message box and then uh, get string to string from user. Remember there is also another method we created uh, in the previous exercise uh, which is get string from uh, user. So I'm going to execute this function and um, so that means when the user click on the keyword it will execute that code. And um, so now if we look at what's going to happen after that is once a user picks one of these keywords and um, so we will actually see get the results up here. And then we'll check the status whether the user has press enter. That means you know he has he has finished picking the keyword. If yes, and then we'll get the result. And then we'll put into a switch case. 
and then we'll check what is the keyword he has pressed enter you know he he clicked on it so if it is circle then we will execute and then we'll create a circle if it is zoom we'll execute and then we'll create a zoom function and then if it's a message box I created a simple function to print uh, to show a message box it will actually execute that function and then the message box will be showed and then um, get string from user will execute the function which is string from user and uh, so that's a separate function this is this one and then it will execute all these lines all right so let's go and uh, fire this up so the command would be send custom command to AutoCAD send custom command to AutoCAD so it shows you um, all the uh, keywords if I pick circle and uh, let me delete this one just in case okay if I pick circle the circle is created and then if I pick zoom all it does a zoom all so let's try again here we go it does a zoom all and then uh, if I click on message box it shows the message box and then if I click on get string from user then it actually executes the other function and then it will ask me to enter some uh, text in here and then prints that text into the uh, AutoCAD dialog box so that is um, the that, that is this tutorial guys it's a pretty easy one so send some command to uh, AutoCAD and AutoCAD will execute and this is a synchronous way and there is a asynchronous way we will see that in later chapters uh, when I have some time I'll show you because that's generally I use it as a function in a lot of these uh, programs so I'll just copy paste and show you guys all right guys if you have any questions let me know if it is all good just uh, subscribe to the channel and then uh, share it with your friends as well thank you